Hello, so in the previous lesson we uh, introduced sine x, cos x and tan x. So here, and if we remember this is the opposite over hypotenuse, adjacent over hypotenuse and opposite over adjacent. Okay, so and if we've got the angle x, then this would be the opposite, and this would be the adjacent, and this is the hypotenuse. Okay, so um, now we're going to look at, well, what if the hypotenuse is equal to 1? So if this is equal to 1, this length is 1 along here, then what are a and o? That's what we're going to try and work out. So let's look at first sine x. Sine x is the opposite over hypotenuse. So it's the opposite over. And when the hypotenuse is 1, this is just going to be opposite over hypotenuse. So actually sine x, in this case, is just the opposite. So we can actually just write that in sine x and uh, we can do the same for cos cos x is the adjacent over the hypotenuse and if the hypotenuse is 1 we just get cos x is equal to the adjacent so this is cos x ok let's clear the screen new let's save and let's just draw that again so when this is 1 I need a pen when this is 1 and this angle is known then this would be sine x and cos x so cos x is along the adjacent now it, what it happens if we make this bigger so we multiply by 3 so we make this into 3 instead then this would be 3 times bigger and this would be 3 times bigger so actually what we could do is have the equations the other way and just say okay for a triangle where we know uh, x uh, if we know h then this would be h times cos x and this would be h times sine x um, yeah I don't know if you need the brackets you don't really need the brackets so there we go